We interrupt your regularly scheduled Union Superhero update with an important message. Start off this week's video in action by helping stop the massive attack on our students, teachers, and public schools. HB 7055 is up for its final vote in the Senate Monday, March 5th. Take a moment right now to call 855-235-2469 and tell your senator to vote no on HB 7055. The whole world's gonna hell, you're just gonna sit there? Let's go. Week 8 of legislative session proved to be the most impactful, with the two biggest pieces of legislation we've been following all year reaching their final committees and floor votes in the Senate. It's no secret in Tallahassee that House Speaker Richard Corcoran is on a terror. Just like last year, he has hijacked the entire legislative process to get his key bumper sticker policy priorities passed to give him the bragging rights he thinks he needs for his expected gubernatorial bid. That guy's brain is a bag full of cats. He could smell crazy on him. These priorities include millions of dollars for private and charter schools, the elimination of our teachers' union, and a terrible constitutional amendment to lock special interest tax breaks in Florida law forever. On Tuesday, the Senate Appropriations Committee heard two bills that carry these dastardly ideas. HB 7055 is the disastrous education omnibus bill that has been rushed through the process with procedural trickery. It changes 59 different statutes, kills our teachers' union, hurts Florida's most struggling schools, and robs public education of millions of dollars to hand them over to private schools. Holy disaster area. The Senate Education Committee had stripped the decertification of the teachers' unions out of 7055, but after a week of threats and arm twisting, in a stunning move, the committee voted to add that back to the bill. To aim to strip away the voice that teachers have on the job is, a, is an absolute gut shot to our, our most trusted public servants. Florida teachers and the unions that represent them do not deserve to be singled out as the target of a political attack. And make no mistake, that's what this is. They deserve to have a voice in the workplace, just like police and firefighters. The bravery public school teachers displayed in Broward County is a testament to how much we as teachers love our jobs and love our children. We all ask is that you hold us to the same standards as every other union. We are asking teachers to carry guns, but we don't want them to have a voice on the job. We expect them to take bullets for our kids, but we don't want to give them the procedure and the means by which they have the freedom to come together to negotiate a fair return on their work. This is union busting. Our teachers' working conditions dictate our students' learning condition. And I urge you all to vote no on this amendment. There will be chaos. That is not an exaggeration because Contracts will become invalid. Teachers will not know their work conditions. School boards will not know how to interact with their teachers. Uh, please leave this amendment off the bill and, and let's get to the education policy in 7055. This piece of the legislation was pulled out of the bill and that allowed the bill to move on to this committee as in its form. And now we're here putting it back in. I'd love to play the game of going into the narrative of well, we're trying to help the teachers and blah, blah, blah. And I, but I just don't have time today, nor do I have the patience or feel like it. I can't support this amendment, and I, I encourage you to vote against it. HB 7055 passed with the amended language and was placed on the Senate calendar. Last week, the Senate Finance and Tax Committee stripped the House language from HB 7001, the supermajority tax bill, and added the Senate's still bad but slightly better version. In an unprecedented move and in a complete violation of the Senate rules, the committee changed the bill back to the original version without a vote. This was at the demand of, guess who? Yep, Richard Corcoran, who continues to threaten a complete shutdown of the session and budget talks if he doesn't get everything his way, exactly how he wants it. Holy Benedict Arnold! These two bills were on the Senate floor just 48 hours later. HB 7001 was quickly rolled to third reading and will be up for a final Senate vote on Monday. If all Democrats vote no, we may be able to block this terrible idea to make it impossible to close corporate tax loopholes and generate revenue for vital public public programs. Things got interesting on the Senate floor with HB 7055 when Labor pushed for an amendment to save our teachers' union. But the same people who have decided that teachers should have to carry guns have also decided that they should be gagged in fighting for the policies to help them teach our kids and keep them safe. Who is asking for this? 
Who is saying that there is a problem? Where are the union members who are receiving benefits that are saying we want this change? It doesn't exist. We're creating a problem in our mind, so let's make it difficult for people who are out there working for the middle class to continue. Decertification of unions is punitive. It's punitive to the working class who's simply trying to achieve the American dream that's becoming more unachievable each and every day. Please don't punish these workers. Vote for this good amendment and take out this decertification language. The amendment failed after several Republicans who had pledged to vote yes were threatened with the removal of money for their districts in the budget by guess who? Richard Corcoran. And in case there was any doubts as to how Speaker Corcoran has held the process hostage, take the word from his friend and Senate colleague, Tom Lee. I know how easy it is to come up here and go along and get along. I also know I didn't come to Tallahassee to be intimidated. Senator Lee, I'd ask for you to close on the content of your amendment. I am closing, Mr. President. And, Lee, and I'd rather not discuss the Speaker of the House or any other member of the legislature. It's been hard to be a friend of the Speaker of the House of Representatives, believe me. But what am I going to do about it? He asked me. Well, today's the day. I'm going to stand up. HB 7055 is now on third reading with a final Senate vote scheduled for this Monday. Our union heroes from across Florida saw all the dastardly tricks this week firsthand and stood strong for working families. It is truly breathtaking, the assault on working families that happens in this building. And I urge all of you to stay engaged and inform yourselves about what's going on in this building. This is my first time up here and I, it's definitely an experience, but it won't be my last. I'll be back here to fight for the rights of all workers and all unions. We all need to get involved to get engaged because if you don't come up here and do it, you truly don't understand and change is coming. No matter what your issue is, we've got brothers and sisters here that'll support you. Workers comp, we got a desert bill that's on the table that we're trying to work with them in. Whether it be autonomous vehicles, which would put me out of work. Any legislation that affects the working people in the state of Florida, we address it with our legislators and let them know that we are watching and how they vote. I am challenging all of the retirees of locals out there to get up here, help the young people, lead the way. We're here to unite all our unions and back them with all we have and they try to get some bipartisan support from our legislators. It's imperative that if we want things done in Tallahassee that we tell them what we need them to do and the only way that we're going to do that is if you come up and you represent who we are as teachers, as union members. I'm here to represent the unions all across America and especially here in the state of Florida and help support the teachers union to help oppose the decertification of the teachers. We do not want to lose our voice nor be decertified nor be dismissed. Uh, we are representing not only ourselves and other teachers and education workforce, but we're representing our students as well who also want a voice in Florida's government. We need you up here because those suits inside that building don't want to hear from you and this is what resistance looks like. They, The suits in there that walk the same, talk the same are so disconnected from what working people actually need and they think they own this process, they think that they own that building and we need you here to let them know and remind them that they work for us not the lobbyists. They're trying to railroad us and we need your help. We're here to be the voice of our students, our teachers, and all of those who work with our children back home. We are here to make sure they know we're watching. This is it, heroes. Only one more week of session left, and we need you to take action. Visit our website at www.flaflcio.org for updates and important alerts. And be sure to stay tuned for your union update, Signy Die finale, next week. Solidarity. Solidarity.